the Cobra 3. Ridge vent. These were put on about probably four years ago. This has got a peak rating of about 35 degrees C. You can get some peaks at 35. You can feel the heat coming through here. This is some oak tree leaves that tend to get... I uh, take the leaf blower and blow those out every couple of years, but these work pretty well. This is with the C2 FLIR cam. The Cobra Ridge Vent 3. I got a box of 10. They're four feet long. They come with nails already here with serrations that are about three inches long. To... This is a Cobra 3 Ridge Vent. The sun went down just a few minutes ago, and this is with the Floor C2 infrared camera. You can see the hottest spot is around 29, 30 degrees C. There's eight feet of uh, Cobra 3 that was just put on. And here again is the thermal imaging camera. Roof's over here around 24 degrees C. And it's about 30, 31 coming out of the... Thirty-three degrees. This is on a short section over a garage. Thirty-three degrees C. That's the Cobra three ridge vent. Pulling heat out of the attic. Okay, there's the Cobra ridge vent three. That's what the bottom side looks like. This supports on here. And these are where the nails go through. This line through here is where you put the shingles when you nail them on. It's through here supported by these ribs. These are the vent pieces that prevent uh, bugs and stuff from getting in, but allows a lot of airflow. And then these slot lines on here, this is the width that is cut through the decking if you don't have a uh, 2x4 that runs horizontal and then if you have one that does uh, you're going to cut to this width the larger of the two in here and that's so that this is the air path on this side and this side so if you've got a 2x4 that runs horizontal uh, you're going to cut to this larger width on here so you've got I think 7 8 on either side and if there's not a horizontal beam running then you go through and cut to this narrower line and so you've got these are the two seven eighths either side and center line this of course is nailed on top and you've got the uh, three inch ring nails here that have serrations to help grab the deck because I think these are proved 110 miles an hour and then this is the nail line here where the shingles are put on afterwards and the, the reason you put it on there is this has got supported well here underneath with the rubbed ribs then you bend this to the roof pitch that you're using I think these work from 3 to 312 is either 312 to I think 16 and 12 so this is bent over like this depending on what the pitch is they're flexible there's a box of 10 of those I got at Home Depot when they're loose like this, you got to be, sometimes people, there's nails missing on them. So if you get a full box, you'll find there's a lot more nails on there. Sometimes, I don't know if people take them or something, they just fall off. But when you get a full box of, by these, that's 40 feet, you'll find about pretty much all the nails are on there. They're down in the box. The ones that are on open, the nails tend to grow legs for some strange reason.